Zayn Malik has reportedly scrapped most of his second album following his breakup with long-term girlfriend Gigi Hadid. Bad news for fans of Zayn and love songs, great news for fans of waiting for stuff. For the last couple of years, Zayn spent his time squirreling away writing the follow-up to his smash hit debut album Mind of Mine. And, according to reports, he's written over 30 songs about Gigi, which is like five more than I have. A source close to Zayn told the Daily Star, there's lots of songs about their love, passion and sensuality, but some of the songs are more painful to him than love. Now. Even though the breakup is being touted as a mutual decision, he is heartbroken and wants to use that as inspiration. But it still seems a bit of a waste to me. Why doesn't he start dating someone new with a name that rhymes? Then you can just swap the name out. And my mate DD Gabib would be thrilled. Either way, I am genuinely excited to hear some new music from one of the biggest names in pop. Metaphorically, it's big. Okay, for real though, someone bit Beyonce's face and we need to know more. Tiffany Haddish has been talking about the biter at a Jay-Z after party in December. They hid her face in Tiffany's hair on Insta after the incident, with Tiff telling GQ there was this actress there that's just like doing the mostest. Then she bit Beyonce in the face and Chrissy Teigen reckons she knows who it is and tweeted, she is the worst. I hope Beyonce is now a vampire. Justin Bieber's mum may have just tweeted about Jelena. Patty tweeted, it ain't over till it's good and love never fails and fans reckon it's definitely about Selena Gomez. You might think you've seen every inch of Charlotte Crosby by now, but no, no, no. You're about to see a whole lot more of her in a brand new MTV reality series, which starts tonight. Fuck yes. We caught up with the stars to saw all things love and relationships and where she sees things going with her current bae, Josh Ritchie. I cannot wait to have kids in the future. I am 28 years old this year, but 30 is the perfect age, so I've got two years. Josh is still so young, but sorry, Josh. She's gonna have to be a young dad. Shah has also suffered her fair share of heartbreak in the public eye, and she's got some cracking advice for all of us trying to move on. So my overall advice for relationships and love is don't ever let a previous boyfriend affect the way you're gonna be in a relationship in the future, because they are not worth that. You love just as hard as you did before and do it again, because not everyone is arseholes, and sometimes it's worth taking the risk. The Charlotte Show premieres at 9pm on MTV, so get yourself ready. Friends Fest is officially returning to the UK. The touring attraction allows fans of the hit show to visit memorable sets and recreate their favourite moments from the iconic series. You can expect the very best attractions from previous years and this year will also feature a full-scale set of Ross's second apartment. If that wasn't enough, you'll even get the chance to recreate the iconic pivot scene from when Ross first moved in. Can you tell I'm having a complete fangirl moment right now? Costumes will also be provided if you fancied walking around with a chicken on your head like Joey. Friends Fest will visit London, Glasgow, Newcastle, Manchester, Bristol and Brighton. So go on, hurry up and get your ticket. Zoella celebrated her 28th birthday in New York this week, although quite frankly she does not look a day over 22. So all those beauty tips are clearly working. But instead of making it all about her, she asked her viewers to help raise money for a charity close to her heart. Yep, for all those loyal fans who wanted to give her something, she asked for a donation to mental health charity Mind. Zoe has long been open about her struggles with anxiety, and as digital ambassador for the charity, is keen to spread awareness and raise money for the cause. Which she's done well. So far the donation page has over 10 thousand pounds in less than 24 hours. Check out her video to see her talk more about mental health and also to see her getting ready for her big New York birthday trip. Side note, Poppy posted a photo of the pair captioned, can we just talk about the moment when we realised we were standing next to Ross from Friends? Can you get a happier birthday than that? I mean, yeah, but only if you're standing next to Chandler from Friends. Or Phoebe. Not so long ago, Madison Beer released a music video to her banger Say It To My Face, in which she dominates a lot of boys. We caught up with her to discuss the meaning and motivation behind this. That's literally what I came up with. I was like, honestly, I wanted, that's what I want to do, is be like just female dominating male type scenario. I feel like in a lot of like boys music videos, it's like their shirts are off and they're doing this, but if a girl shows a little bit of skin, it's like, oh my god, you know, they get judged really fast. So I wanted to just do that and be like, look how funny it is when a girl does it. I'm glad all this Time's Up stuff is happening right now and all this stuff is coming out. I think it's incredible that people are speaking up and I think it's really, really important that people know what happens.